We don't have many leaves here to work with, but we'll give it a try. Well, we promised we would give away this Ventrac leaf plow. I guess we didn't really make any promises on how soon we would get it delivered, but finally, Rich and Kristen have come to pick it up today. So we're gonna talk a little more about the leaf plow. We're also gonna talk about Frodo, this dog right down here. This is gonna be a great story. Let's get started. Rich, I'm really glad you got a chance to win the leaf plow. Thanks, I'm glad to win it. Ventrac was, uh, well, I just really appreciate them offering, offering to do this. And then uh, when we got a chance to show it and when you entered, it was, it was pretty clear once we heard a little bit about your backstory and, and how you're gonna use this and who, who's gonna be using it, it was pretty hard not to choose you immediately as a winner. We appreciate it. It's, uh, it's something that I wanted before I knew I wanted it. Okay. now. You're a groundskeeper for an organization, right? I mean, is that, what, what is your title? My title is groundskeeper. Tell me a little bit about the organization and then we'll, we'll move to Kristen to get the real details. Yeah, she, she's the expert. The Seeing Eye, we're based in Marstown, New Jersey. We basically train dogs to guide blind people. We breed them. We have volunteers who, who raise them. Uh, then they come back to us. People like Kristen train them, then instruct students that's you know the students uh, are blind people come in and uh, Kristen instructs them to use the dogs for three to four weeks depending okay. if they're newer yeah I'm just wanting to make sure though they don't let you anywhere near the dogs right uh, they try not to occasionally they'll have me drive by with a piece of equipment or run a weed whacker near one that maybe during their trips into town uh, seems skittish when they pass the landscaper that's about the extent that I have any okay. involvement with the dogs. <laughs> okay, now, now, Kristen, you work with the dogs. I do, yes. Okay, and um, this dog is Frodo? This is Frodo. He's a yellow Labrador retriever. He's around two years old. So how many dogs do you train a year? Um, so we breed around 500, and we, on a normal year, usually put around 240 to 250. We're obviously a little lower this year yep. due to COVID, but... Yeah, generally about 240 dogs go out per year with their uh, new blind person. Yep. Now, along those lines, folks, you notice that we're wearing masks today, and, and typically we don't on these videos. It's not be it, neither situation is because of uh, some prejudice on our part. We, we just feel like in the long term we don't want to have masks on our videos because we expect these videos to, to last for years and years. However, in this case, the Seeing Eye organization has a very strict mask policy. And so we want to we want to honor that we want to honor all their their rules and and so uh, we've been wearing masks around here all day and uh, uh, even when we're outside we feel like that that that's what we need to do so so I, I apologize for that I apologize that uh, you're seeing nothing but a big white piece of uh, paper on me but uh, it makes you look handsome. Uh, what are you saying? <laughs> Yeah, I got a face for radio, I think, is what she's saying. <laughs> now, my understanding is you're going to let us give, a, give this a try. Tell us yes. a little how that's going to work. Okay, so basically the harness that the dog is wearing here, it's a rigid um, harness handle. Okay. So you're going to hold on to that, and you'll feel the dog give some pull. And that will give you information about which way to follow the dog. And the dog is trained to guide you around things and also stop for gradients such as steps, um, curbs, things like that. So, you know, you're getting information from him through this specially made harness. Okay. Now, typically, this is, this is very unusual. Like, I mean, typically you would train a student like me <laughs> with the dog for a long time, right? How much training does the student get? Uh, to be with this dog. Right, so the dogs get four months of training total and they spend one month with their blind person um, either on the Seeing Eye campus or in very special cases we'll bring a dog to somebody. So they get plenty of time because this is not just a ship a dog out, give an instruction manual. The dog and the person need time to bond and need to learn how to read each other. It's kind of like dancing. Yeah. So the, they need to learn that so that it takes some time. So they're with us for about a month and then when they go home, we're available for future follow-up if there's any, any issues that they're having when they go home. Now, does the Seeing Eye organization provide uh, uh, service dogs for, for 
other needs other than blindness or is blindness pretty well your, your focus? Yep, no, they're seeing eye dogs just for people who are blind, so we only train for guide work. Okay. Correct. Now, how much does it cost to train one of these dogs? It costs around 70000 for the lifetime of each dog. 70000 per dog? Yes. Now, do the students have to pay this? They do not. Nope. They're only responsible for a very small fee that's been in place since 1929. It's $150 for a brand new student and it's $50 for every successor dog that a person gets. Okay. My math isn't necessarily perfect here, but there's a big difference between $70,000 and $150. Correct. How is that made up? So um, the Seeing Eye is a nonprofit organization and we run mostly off donations, um, private donations, uh, corporate donations, things like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You said 1929? 1929. That's how long the organization has been around. What breeds of dogs do you, do you choose? Okay. We do a lot of labs and they can be yellow, black, chocolate. Um, we also do German Shepherds and okay. Golden Retrievers. Okay. And as well, we do a hybrid cross of a lab Golden Retriever. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. is, there a, is there a reason why you would choose a, a particular breed for a particular student? Or, or I, I mean, I, I just don't have any knowledge on this. How, right. how would you choose? Any blind person can learn to work with one of our dogs. It depends on their skill level and their preferences and we put everything together their personality how fast they like to walk where they're living and we put that all together to find the correct dog for them so they could get a german shepherd a lab or a golden retriever we're looking at the dog individually not the breed okay okay so when we get going here i assume i'll just hold a map up in front of <laughs> frodo here and kind of tell him you know point to where i want to go and then he'll guide me there that right? would be really nice and make my job really easy because then i could just ship the dogs out and have them <laughs> do that work um, but unfortunately it doesn't work like that oh he's not a map reader no he's not no these dogs um, are trained to follow a person's direction Okay. So their job is to guide around obstacles, stop at curbs, and to watch out for traffic. But the direction is the person's responsibility. So they will give the forward, right, left command to let the dog know where they would like to go. And then the dog keeps them safe from point A to point B. Okay, so the, the person still needs to know exactly where they where they want to go. So Correct. if we're walking in a city, they need to count their steps. How do they know how do they know when they're at the end of a city block? How oh yeah. People use many different clues. If it, if they're coming to an end of a city block, the dog will stop for a curb and that's how they know where they're at. Um, but if they're in an open space, they do sometimes count steps, but they also just use time distance. How long does it normally take them and then they start asking the dog to look for what they want. Um, so it is a partnership. The person's, you know, the working mind and the dog is the eyes and they're all working together to, to get to their correct destination. Okay, when you say that you, you tell the dog left, right, uh, whatever, and that, to, that you, you, you ask the dog for landmarks or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, it, is this verbal or is this in the, is this a physical uh, okay. communication? How's that communication done? So there, it's mostly verbal, but we also use hand signals. So if you want to go forward, forward, if you want to go right, right and left left so the dogs have really good peripheral vision so they can see those hand signals even if they're really slight so it's voice it's hand signal it's also body direction if i keep my body position the way i want to go the dog's going to go that direction so there's a lot of working parts in it yeah i mean this is going to be really tough for me because <laughs> i can't walk in a straight line when i'm when i'm blindfolded i i don't i don't understand i mean that the skill that that some of these blind folks have is, is absolutely stunning to me because I, I, I can't walk straight. I have no idea how far I've walked. I... Yeah. Well, most people don't walk in a straight line and, and neither do dogs. They're guiding you around things. They might go over a crack or they might go over a gum wrapper. You don't know. You just follow your dog and, and keep your body direction in the right direction and then the dog will figure the rest out. Okay, well, why don't we send Rich off playing with his leaf plow? Okay, have fun. And hey, you, that sounds and good you and, to me. You and I try this. Okay, sounds great. Kristen, I just want to say first thing, I am really uneasy. I mean, just having this blindfold on, I just it just it, it enlightens me. That's that's backwards, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it makes me realize just how uh, how inept I feel. Like I, I can't tell which way's which. I, I really don't know much. So hopefully Frodo can help. Hope so. He's gonna so, do his best. Frodo, forward. Gonna go with him, good. He'll go nice and easy. And just tell him he's a good boy. Good boy, Frodo, good boy. 
Right, right, right. Very good. Home, good boy. Right. You feel him make boy. that turn? Good boy. I hear something. Yeah, something's coming, but wait for your dog to give them. All right, now that Frodo, that's back up, up, up. Good. And good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I mean, I felt it. It was easy to feel when he when he was stopping me. Yeah. And yeah. I wouldn't have really known. Even I heard. Even though I heard it, I didn't have any idea. Yeah. You just uh, follow your dog. We always want to tell the students to follow their dogs. All right. So basically, straight up ahead, there's a barricade. I won't tell you how far ahead it is. Okay. He's going to have to make a move either to the left or the right to get around it. So you'll be going onto the grass. Okay. If he moves to the left, you're going to want to suggest back to the right. If he moves to the right, you're going to want to suggest back to the left to get him back on track. Okay, so okay? if I suggest that too soon, I mean, that's going to be confusing No, you can too. start to tell him. And, and basically what suggestion tells him is as soon as it's you're able, you can move okay. over. Okay, that makes sense. Frodo, forward. And good boy. Good boy. There you go. Yeah. Good boy, Frodo. This is working well. I mean, he's given a good solid pull on he me. Is. I know that it's... All right, he's coming up to it. He's going to think about it. Okay, see how he stopped? Forward, Frodo. Up, up. So, up, up. up there he goes. Feel him pull to the right. Now, left, left, left. Frodo. Left, left, Frodo. Left. Very nice. Right, okay. All right, stop there. Give him a big hug. Hey, that you got really me right good. around there. That was very good. I couldn't have done that. Good boy. All right. <laughs> Frodo, forward. And good boy. Good boy. Good, and move over a little bit so you're closer to him. There you go. Oh, okay. That's perfect. That's okay. good position. Okay, he's thinking about it. Feel him slowing? I do feel him slowing. Good. See how he's starting to push you to the right? Yeah. Good boy. Left, Frodo. Left. Keep talking to him. Left. Because he Left. might get the sniffies. There you go. Left. Left. I'm absolutely stunned. Frodo, you helped me. Kept me from getting run over. There was some reckless dude, I think. It wasn't paying any attention to what he was doing, tried to run me over. I've never had the opportunity to do this before. Obviously, we've seen people with, with service dogs, but, but actually being attached to this handle, it shows you just how much guidance they're providing. And, and that's just simple here in my driveway. I mean, if we were in a city situation, it'd be invaluable. I, I can't imagine it. And if you are interested in donating to Seeing Eye, uh, it's seeingeye.org slash TTWT. And uh, off camera, just a, a minute ago, Christy and I uh, just made a decision, and uh, we would like to challenge you that if you would give to this organization, we'll, we'll match uh, dollar for dollar up to the first wow. thousand um, that, that you give. So, so I would challenge you, the viewers, uh, make your gifts, because we're gonna, we're gonna double those gifts. We, we really like what we're seeing here, and, and we really appreciate uh, what you guys have, have done. It's a it's a great great organization. That's amazing. That's amazing, Tim. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're getting this Ventrac leaf plow. Yes, sir. But what are you going to use this on? I'm going to put it on a Steiner. A Steiner. Now you've had Steiners for several years, right? 22 years. And th this attachment should fit directly on your tractor yep. without a problem. Absolutely. And uh, for those who don't know, there is a three-point hitch adapter that allows this to work on the back of a tractor. You can watch, you, you watched, obviously you watched our Kurt's earlier video, video because we were at Kurt White's house and Kurt's probably the one who needs donations because he's still at home being sad because he didn't win. If he pays for gas, I'll come out with the, with the leaf plow. Kurt, what do you think? Leave your comment below. <laughs> now your Steiner is same size as this, almost identical to this machine, yes, right? Yes, we have a uh, Steiner uh, 450. Okay. which is the, their newest model, uh, comparable to this. It's an amazing tractor, just like the Ventrac. Yep. Very similar. Yep. Designed by the same guys, I believe. I think so. Now, the Ventrac is better. I'm a little biased, but you were telling me off camera just how uh, nice this was. I can't say that. You I were can't telling say me that. just how nice this was and all the features that it... It, oh. it rides pretty nice. <laughs> it's tractors. It's all good. Exactly. We have a lot of friendly rivalries and uh, teasing about this kind of stuff, but you know what? These machines really help us get the job done and they help us enjoy it while, while they're doing it. Absolutely, and for a guy who works, I'm not gonna say all year by myself because my department helps me out when I need it, but most of the year I'm by myself and something like this is gonna help a tremendous amount. 
Rich, in addition to the leaf plow, you made such a long trip. You came all the way from New Jersey. Yes. And we felt kind of bad to that. So we had a couple of things. This right here all is right. a collector's edition because it still has the yellow. Yes, just like my sweatshirt. Just like your sweatshirt. You can't get these anymore. Sorry about that, guys. Your very own tractor time with him. It even matches your sweatshirt. Thank you very that much. That looks pretty good. We've also got a set of Isotunes Pro. All right. Um, I've, you know, I think your hearing's a little like mine. I think yeah, you need. <laughs> I think I need it too. <laughs> I think you need to get get some of these, folks. It's it's, it's hearing protection that really works, and uh, for the most part, it's out of your way. I mean, as long as you can handle the earbuds in your ear, it, it works great, and it's it 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 allows you to listen to music, talk on the phone while you're in a noisy environment. Um, Isotunesaudio.com/ttwt, and use code ttwt for a ten dollar discount. But you don't have to. Oh, that's great. Thank you very much. Because you got them much. right here. I appreciate it. And the seeing eye has something for you. Really? Uh, yes. The seeing eye is giving you the honor of naming a dog in oh a future goodness. litter. We had talked about it. We had thoughts of some names that you might like. But then they decided to let you make that choice. So you can do it however you want. Well, we've not proven to be very good at naming stuff. We, we can't tell a boy from a girl on our cats. Well... That's one thing, but you can pick this ahead of time. Okay. You can pick. We can let somebody else choose whether the gender is appropriate yes, for, for exactly, the name that we've chosen. Exactly. Well, I appreciate that's quite an honor. That is quite an honor. And and normally it would cost uh, a person five thousand dollars to name a seeing eye puppy. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is this is this is quite an honor. I, I mean, it, it means a lot to me. Guys, this has been really fun. I really appreciate you coming. Um, maybe we'll have to come visit out there sometime and see your organization. O open ended invitation anytime. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with, with Tim. Tim. Wow, Kristen, thank you so much. That was amazing. The, uh, it makes me realize how blessed you are if you can see and that how much a, a dog would be helpful if you are blind. And the word freedom and independence comes to mind because I feel like you could do so much more with the seeing eye dog than just by yourself. So really appreciate it. You're welcome.